In Flowgraph version 1.1, I've removed the view menu and put buttons in here, along with a new one called Lock Unlock, which I'm going to demonstrate now with a quick scene. So I'm creating a couple of cubes, putting them under a null, and then I'm going to drag the first cube in. I'm going to make it so that it goes uh, up and across this other one. So I'm going to click Set Start. I'm now going to move it up to there and go Set End. I'm going to hold down Control Alt, create a new one with current end set, and I'm going to move it across to here and click set end. So that's my animation for this. And now I want to duplicate that. But first I'm going to move the tag onto the null. Duplicate that again. And now I'm going to create another null and put them under there. And then on this root null at the top, I'm going to add a, another flow tag. Select it. And with it selected, I'm going to lock it so it only shows that one. If I select the other ones, it's not going to change. It's just going to be showing this top one. And now I'm going to drag in the blend parameters of these other two. So first I'm going to set them to manual. And then I'm going to drag in the first blend parameter. And then I'm going to drag in the second blend parameter. And now I can unlock that. And on that first one you'll see it's got these two. If I connect those two up now. And now I can set the timeline to animation length. And I'll just move this one out so that we can see both of them. Now if I was to play that animation you'll see that. Uh, well first actually I need to make sure that these are set to 100. And then I'll go back press play and then both going to animate and come up and go across. Now the next thing you see that I may have added here is I've added a, a to start value to complement the to end. So if I was to click uh, to start it's going to go to the start location of where that node uh, begins. So if I was on the first one it'll go to frame 0 obviously. Second one it's going to go to frame 30. And if I was to click to end it's going to jump to frame 60 in this case. So it starts at 30 and ends at 60. So that's just a, a helper there as well with the to start. Right, I hope this uh, helps you with your flow graphs.